Hey, welcome back everybody. Any new subscribers? Welcome aboard. Uh, what I'm doing today, uh, it's a low Z 4.0, uh, eight buggy. Uh, had this a while. It used to be gas. Uh, one of the subscribers, uh, Ed 420. What's up with that 420, Ed? Uh, he wanted a little bit more information on this. When I got this, it was gas. So it had a gas motor in it and a uh, pipe and all that crap. And, uh, I think I paid 500 bucks for it. it. Totally decked out with every aluminum option you could stick on the damn thing. So that's why I kept it. But in order to make it electric, I had to get a conversion kit. Conversion kit is going to cost you about 75, 80 bucks. Uh, there it is right there. Eight electric. and work on uh, basically any gas Lozy uh, and Truggy. Work on the Truggies too, I think. So replaced a lot of stuff so i took all the gas stuff that came with it sold all that got like 3350 for it so i only paid i paid less than 200 for this buggy but then i had to buy this so that stuck another 80 bucks onto the price of the buggy and then the body i had to buy a body for it and the 2.0 version of the lozy buggy body fits on this electric one that's what this is but they're hard to find now so if you get one hold on to it uh Last time we were up in New Hampshire, this thing uh, bent a shock shaft. So what was happening was it it compressed like that, and then it gets stuck because <laughs> it was bent so bad. We straightened it out with some pliers, but when I got home, I, I put a new one in here. So luckily, actually, I got a new one when I bought this buggy. It came in the package, so finally got around to using it. And I'm also converting the shocks back to uh, standard Lozy shocks, not these. Uh, I think these are off of three version 3.0 they're tapered so this ends big this ends small so i i got a shitload of these so i'm putting purple on back gray on front so that'll work out and also besides the bent shock shaft that made this thing handle like crap the servo horn that was on here was stripped out look at that probably one of them cheap ass china ones yep cheap ass china ones so maybe the screw came loose or something i don't know but it stripped it out in there and uh so yeah so i just stuck the one that came with it on it came with the high-tech servo it should be all right and i also noticed after i changed the shock shaft so i still got to do these other two these shocks are done but i gotta take them all back off because i picked this up so i want to make sure they're uh both the same length so you just hook them up both on the same side if it's over to i'm sorry about that <laughs> if it's over to one side then you know that shit's off <laughs> but you want it centered like that so this is like i think i paid 10 bucks for this thing i got lucky it was brand new in the package but the package is all dirty and shit also the tires the rims are cracked there's a crack right there put a little super glue on it but i don't think that's gonna last another crack crack right there this one got a big ass crack in it i think this was the only one that wasn't cracked so that's going to affect the wet handles too but i think i could live with that i don't know the tires are still good i don't feel like spending the money but i did spend some money on these check these bad boys out we're going to hook these up and see how this bad boy handles with these i think these are off uh felony or something like that the arma these are the back ones so i got four of the back ones i guess the front ones are not quite as tall and not quite as wide so but anyway so I thought I'd give them a shot and see how this thing handles. Because uh, in my opinion, if you got the money or you're ever going to get two RCs, this is the best second RC to have right here. There's nothing like a buggy. It'll do anything, anything a one-tenth scale stadium truck will do, and it'll do it better. <laughs> at a lot faster speed, and it'll, it just, they're just like glued to the ground. These things are insane. I love these things. I've had many of them during my RC career. And, I always go back to a buggy. All right, so uh, what else? I think that's about it. So yeah, so if you ever got a gas buggy and you're sick of the gas stuff, spend the eighty bucks if it's a low Z and get the conversion kit and uh, switch it over. You, I guarantee you'll be happy. So we're gonna throw these tires on, and we're gonna take this out for a quick spin and see how it handles. I gotta finish up these shocks and shit, but I'll do that and then. Through the magic of editing, this shit will be right after this. Oh, by the way, just a heads up, the next video is going to be pellet guns. So, 
If you're not interested in pellet guns, don't watch the next video. I got some of these old Dirty Harrys from the 80s. Got two of them. Actually got another one coming in. I just sent one back because it was missing the barrel and shit. And I couldn't do nothing with that. So th this will be next. You have to watch the next video for this crap. We get, all right. All right. Got the tires and wheels on there. That's kind of mean, don't it? Got a little grip on this wood surface. I'll give it that. Let's see how she uh, handles there. Got a 4S charging up right now. Get that bad boy going. We'll go take it out for a run. If you know what happens. I would just go up to the school parking lot. Alright. See you at the parking lot. Alright. Let's see what she does. Nice dripping. Slow down if you want to turn. It'll just slide to the corner. Whoa. Final thoughts. Yeah, if I had a second chance, I probably wouldn't buy these tires. Especially after if I knew I was going to crash into the side of the wall. And bend that one. I don't know if you see that shit. A little wobbly. It still work. I don't know. I'll play with them a few more times. They didn't last long. They got wore out. The shit wore out on them. And I think I got this geared a little too high. It got a little hot. So I got to drop it down a tooth or two. Cool it down a little bit. Yeah, other than that, that's a buggy. If you can afford one, get yourself one. They're, they go pretty cheap. Not too bad. I mean, not brand new, but used. You get one that's been gas. They usually don't use the gas ones as much as they use the electric ones. So, all right. So, just an idea. All right, out here. Till next time. Don't forget, BB gun bullshit's next. So, if you don't like BB gun bullshit, you don't want to watch the next one. Out here.